Uh, it's my pleasure to announce that we have a tie for the Bradman Medal for 2017-18. And our joint winners are Connor McInerney from the Woodville District Cricket Club and Kelvin Smith from the West Torrens District Cricket Club. And I ask Connor and Kelvin to come forward. It's the seventh tie in the history of the award, the first when it was the District Cricketer of the Year. Ian McLaughlin in a tie, in a tie with Brian Quigley, I think Steve Gentle, he's here. He was in a tie uh, in the year 1979 with uh, David Lovell, so the seventh tie. Um, and these two guys, both left-handers, both opening batsmen, and now both forever united as Bradman medalists for 2018. The first tie in 20 years, Adam Polkinghorne and Anthony Heydrich in 1999. Who's coming first? Kelv? The Onion Farmer from Bow Hill. That's it. Uh, mate, quite incredible. I've got to ask you something serious first of all. My understanding is your father had uh, a bit of an accident last week. Uh, he is on the mend. How's he going? Just tell us a bit about what happened. Yeah, um, he uh, had an an onion harvesting accident, got his arm caught in a conveyor belt and a roller and watched his arm tear away and it was uh, yeah, pretty uh, bad news to hear on the Monday of the fir first day of a Futures game. Um, and yeah, he's been in hospital for about two weeks now and uh, he's yeah, skin grafts and everything um, and looking like he should be out of hospital next week. Mm. Uh, I asked to go back in for some more surgery and stuff tomorrow, I think. This so. would be, be good news for him and Yvonne to hear that uh, the lads won the Bradman. Yeah, no, I think that will be uh, some good news on the end of some bad news. So I think hopefully this can brighten Dad's uh, little night up and he's pretty over being in hospital. So... Something to put a smile on his face for sure. Tell us about your year. Did you expect that you were a chance tonight? Uh, yeah, not uh, not really, to be honest. Um, not lately, because I haven't made a lot of runs in the last few weeks. So, But, yeah, I had obviously a good first start of the year and um, was, felt like I was in some good form. So I had a good year and was happy with how the summer went. So, yeah. I'm told that uh, you're growing up, you're maturing very quickly. Uh, I did hear a story that you had to get the chat from SACRA officials because when you're a boarder at Prince Alfred College, you never washed your clothes. Is that true? Uh, it was probably a bit stiff. I don't know where <laughs> you heard that from because we had uh, washing ladies that did all that for us, just chucked <laughs> into a box somewhere and, and it came back uh, in a few days' time, so that was good. Um, uh, what about, uh, you, you've had to probably deal with your... your moods a bit. My understanding is in the past you got very frustrated when you got out but you're dealing with that a lot better too. Yeah definitely. Um, I think most people in this room that's played against me would have se uh, <laughs> seen or heard from uh, probably a good distance uh, a blow up or two from the change rooms but um, yeah haven't had a blow up from memory this year so how good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm told your partner Stacey has been a, a very good calming influence on you. Yeah, definitely. She, um, yeah, she's a very good netballer, and um, she's given me a lot of support. And um, yeah, we, uh, yeah, she gets me in a good routine. Takes my dog for a walk every morning. Um, yeah, she's pretty helpful in a lot of ways. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, from farming, <laughs> from farming onions in Bow Hill to the Bradman Medal, I'll give you a chance just to say a few thank yous, mate. Um, yeah, obviously, um, would like to first of all thank mum and dad. Um, obviously, like everyone, they're massive influences on my life and um, and my cricket in particular. Um, and my, to my brother James, uh, obviously, a lot of people here know how much I look up to him. Um, yeah, so I've got a lot of respect for him and he's helped me in so many ways. To, to Mark Harrity in the West Orange Cricket Club, um, thank you. Uh, been there since I was 11 years old and couldn't be happier um, at the club I'm at. I absolutely love everyone there and the support that um, I and everyone gets from West Orange Cricket Club. Um, yeah, look, I could go on um, and thank everyone, but yeah, just a huge honour and um, very thankful. Thank you. Connor McInerney won the Fred Godson medal for the best player in the West End One Day competition this year. He's also won the Bradman medal tonight. That's only ever happened once before in history, way back in 1992. Tim Harms of Glenelg, so 26 years ago. Just the third person to ever win both the... No, sorry, the fourth to ever win both the medals, uh, which was Johnson, Harris, of course, Harms 
and uh, now Connor. So that's a remarkable record, man. Just the second uh, second person in history to achieve that. Now, you would be one of the rare ones. Both your parents are here tonight as well. Uh, Mum, Vanessa, just down in the front here. And Dad, Mark, I think, was who gave you a big hug there before. Just come over a little bit closer to me, mate, and then tell me all about the influence that your parents have had on your career. Uh, well, yeah, Dad, he's... Uh He's tried to, be my, tried to be my coach ever since I started. Um, I haven't listened to him whatsoever, but he's always uh, he's ready, he's there to help. He's the team manager of Woodville. He loves it. Um, yeah, I can't thank him enough. And Mum, um, she she also loves cricket. She's been around it forever. She she works at the second hour and she's always good support and helps me out whenever I need off the field. So I can't thank him enough. St. Michael's boy, Daniel Drew, a St. Michael's boy, won it last year. That's got to be some sort of record, doesn't it? Back to back for St. Mick's? Yeah, I, I guess so. Um, I'm not sure the uh, history there, but Neither it's am I. pretty good. My, my stats don't go back that far. <laughs> 17 St. Michael's old scholars played A grade cricket this year, so there's a few of you about, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Um, we, we were pretty good back in the school days, so. They've all come through, played A grade, some played state cricket, so it's been good. You're studying uh, PE, health science at Flinders Uni. How are you finding, how are you fitting that in with first class cricket? Because it gets busy. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. I'm almost finished. Um, just have to, I've got lo one last subject to do and I'm done. So, you know, after this week, cricket's done and I can get stuck back into that. Did I see you take a couple of uh, wickets earlier this year? What do you bowl? Uh, yeah, I got a few. Um, Oh, left arm, um, straight ones, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't spin it, but... Exactly what I've heard, your teammates refer to you as the Harry Potter of South Australian cricket, is that fair? Uh, yeah, maybe a few of the opposition might say that, but yeah, I'm used to it now, I've, I've had a lot worse. Dad, Mark, Mum, Vanessa, everyone around the cricket club, I'm sure there's some people you'd like to thank, mate. Um, well, first of all, yeah, Mum and Dad, um, I can't thank them enough. They've been, I don't, they've done too much for me. It's, it's ridiculous, really. You know, Dad, I, I, honestly, I can't, can't thank you enough. You used to give me throwdowns before every game. Saturday morning, we used to go down and have a hit. It was crazy. So, uh, yeah, I used to yell that out every game as well. So, and Mum, anything off field I needed, it's helped. Can't thank you enough also. Um, I want to thank Woodville as well. Um, I've played there since juniors. It's, it's a great club. Sam and Ali, been my A-grade coach most of my career. It's been great. Um, and I also want to thank Shane McDermott from the, uh, from the Redbacks, the emerging Redback coach. He, he got me in the system and he's helped me to where I am now. So thank you. Kelvin Smith is the eighth Bradman medalist for West Torrens. Connor McInerney, just the second Bradman medalist for Woodville. I'll hand you to Rebecca Morse for the toast.